All right, man, so look, I came across another crazy video for y'all. Now, before we get into the video, I need y'all to do me a big favor, all right? So go down below in the comment section, answer the poll question of the day. Today's poll question, I got y'all with this one. Watch this, I got y'all with this one. If you can change one thing about America, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section below, man. Let's have a good conversation in the comment section below. I truly want to know y'all responses. Well, I can't wait. I can't wait. Build it out for a dude. Hit the like button. Subscribe to no post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. Also, I got a podcast channel in the link description box below. All right? So go ahead and support your boy podcast channel. We so close to 200 subscribers. Go over there. Send a link description box. Support your boy. Without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. White privilege exists. Absolutely. It does. Absolutely. And where's the proof of that? All around. You know, I tell people often now, in hindsight, um, one of the things that I wish I would have been more cognizant of was the white privilege at UCLA that was sitting, you know, right next to me. For black people, I believe white privilege is something to, to leverage. Um, what is it, though? I, I don't see it anywhere. What is it? Huh? What, what is it? <laughs> the fact that she's so locked. Huh? We don't see it anywhere. We don't. We don't, I don't, I don't know what you black people think these white people are getting this privilege from, but literally it's so many white people that's going through the same struggles as a black person. Y'all just don't see it, but trust and believe me, it's out there. It's, it's white people out there that's struggling to pay their rent every month. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out if they had privilege, if they had this white card, this white privilege, shouldn't they be able to just, you feel me? Like, no, they, <laughs> but it's not a such thing as white privilege. We are in the year 2022. Please show me where this white privilege thing is coming from. I'm still trying to figure out myself. You black people just be, oh, white privilege this, white privilege that. They racist, they this, they that, they just that. Y'all just never want to hold yourselves accountable <laughs> at all. At all. Y'all want to point the fingers and blame somebody else. Y'all want to blame the next race instead of blaming your own race. Simple as that. How do you well, not people see like me privilege? who don't see it. How do you not, what, how do you not see white privilege? Privilege. Because it doesn't exist. That's yes, what it does. So there's some, what there's some things. Exactly. I believe white privilege are, is just the ability just to be free and white and not have the same type of social economic uh, and social ills as black people have to deal with. I mean, there's there's no uh, white racial profiling. White people don't get pulled over by the cops. Just what the what 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 what? Uh 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 uh. No, we gotta finish. Uh uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. She got to Uh-uh. No, 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 no. I'm finna go off. Oh, my God. Boy, I'm finna go off. I'm finna go off. No, ain't no way she just said that. The same type of social economic uh, and social ills as black people have to deal with. I mean, there's there's no uh, white racial profiling. White people don't get pulled over by the cops just because they're white. Um, they have the ability to... Um, you know, show emotion and, and love to their sons without being emasculated. Uh, th there's all kind of examples That's of amazing. white. This is, this is ridiculous. This, this, I'm, I'm done. I, I'm done. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't with this generation. I can't, I just cannot, I can't. Oh my gosh, you are a grown woman. You are a grown woman speaking like this. You would expect something like this to come from me. I'm only 19. You look like you're about in your 30s. I give you to I give you your little late twenties, and you're speaking like this. White people don't get pulled over by the cops. Hey, oh wait, let me add there because they're white. Not every black person get pulled over because they're black. Not every white person get pulled over because they're white. People get pulled over because they do illegal things and they break the law. I think, I don't know where you got this whole idea from that white people don't do this white people don't go through the same things as black people yes they do yes they do you know why you don't believe it because you don't see it you don't see it and why you don't see it because the media they don't put that out there they don't put that that video that i just reacted to not too long ago y'all with the cops beating on that white man i didn't see that on the news i heard it was on some russian news i didn't see that on wgn i didn't see that on fox i didn't see that on no type of big network type of news i didn't see that they didn't put that out there they didn't put that out there. That's because nobody don't want you to see that type of stuff. But let it would have been a black man. Oh my gosh, boy. It would have been on every news article, every news uh, freaking TV. T it would have been on everything. Everything. You would have seen it everywhere. You can't say white people don't go through this. White people don't go through that. How can you speak on something that you've never seen before? How? How can you speak on that? How? 
You can't speak on something you never seen. S simple as that. So if you never seen a white person go through the struggles that a black person will go to through, I mean that black person will go through also, it's like how can you even speak on that? The same thing that a black person go through, a white person go through. Trust and believe me, we are in the year of 2022. Gas is as high as ever. Bills, high as ever. It's white people out here struggling to pay their rent. It's white people out here struggling to just cut a couple of little piece of little change just to put gas in their car. <laughs> like, I don't understand, bro. I don't, I don't get it. I truly don't get it. This white privilege thing that you got in your head, bro, that is fake. That is not real. It's all a myth. Stop allowing the media to brainwash you with this white privilege, white privilege, this white privilege, that. No. Privilege, you absolutely. Believe that. Why don't you, you black. How come you don't believe white privilege exists? What you see? Well, because I, I you know, like I am black in color, but I don't have that dark mentality that most black people have. Clearly. I see, she said clearly, mm -hmm. I see that uh, white people have the same struggles and things that we have in that. Thank what type uh, of struggles do they have? They have to make their marriages work. They have to uh, make their children, help their kids grow up in the right way so that they can earn a living and be in the Not every white student that you see in the biz school, not every white student just was given that position to be in this biz school. Every white person you see that's in college, they, their parents not just sending their money like, oh, here you go, honey. Some white kids actually got to work. They actually got to work to make a living. <laughs> Seriously. You so stuck in the you so stuck in this 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 movie world where you see white people on television they got this big mansion they got this they're not struggling they're not doing this they're not going through this. It's funny to me how in almost every single movie they put the black people as the poor people and they put the white people as the rich people. And then 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 they brainwash black people to think that this is how white people are living when in reality this is not how they're living. They going through a lot of struggles. I don't see plenty of homeless white people. Plenty of homeless white people and plenty of homeless black people. Stop with this little war between black and white, black and white, black and white. Hold yourself accountable. Y'all feel like white people don't go through this and white people don't go through that. Bro, how about you go to how about you go to a poor white neighborhood? A poor white neighborhood. I'm pretty sure it's plenty of them. Just like it's plenty of poor black neighborhoods. Go to a poor white neighborhood and just tell me what you see. Tell me what you see. Do you see the rich houses? Do you see this? Do you see that? You see the Mar Maseratis, the, the Lamborghinis? Do you see all that? No, you're not going to see all that. The same way a, a poor black neighborhood looks is the same way a poor white neighborhood go look. They also they, have the majority of their fathers their kids, at home. Right. And the reason for that is starting to change somewhat now. But the reason for that is because they are taking responsibility for that. Whereas black men and women are not taking responsibility exactly. for that as they did prior to the civil rights movement. Black people are blaming it on their lack of self-control and self-containment. They're blaming it on white people while white people are working hard to keep it going. I do believe themselves. that there is a need for black people to be held more accountable. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean that that doesn't excuse racism. That doesn't excuse institutionalized racism. Oh, wait. And I just thought about, didn't you just say that, oh, white people are not racially profiled? Oh, my gosh. That, bro, are you... <laughs> <laughs> she must not know who Depend TV. She must not watch this channel and she must not see the videos that I done reacted to. <sighs> Man. That doesn't excuse. But there's no that, such thing as that. Yes, it's an it illusion is. made no, up not. by black people no, and their not. leaders. No, it's not. It exists. Well, Sorry. where's the proof of it, though? What do you mean, where's the proof of it? There are many kids who are getting into, black kids who are uh, allowed to get into these universities around the country, right? Based on affirmative action. And uh, because of affirmative action based on their color, that's discrimination based on color, and that's wrong. And I these am, kids are getting in, but they're not earning their way. I, so they, when they fail, they feel less than before they were allowed to get in based on color. I'm a proud product of affirmative action. When I went to UCLA, it was because I was an affirmative action student. I'm sorry to hear that. And, and I think I turned out fantastic. Jesse. Is a free, bro Jesse and Kaylin, bro. These these two people got some balls. Okay, they just be saying the most sarcastic things. Ever. Like they don't care what nobody else say. They just be just say it. Just say it. Kaylin be on her own little thing. She just be saying whatever. Jesse, same thing. I mean, he be so sarcastic and so calm with it. It be hilarious. He be making these fools look like fools. Like literally, they may come in thinking they're smart and thinking they can go up and head to head with Jesse. Oh no. 
oh no, he's gonna he's gonna turn you around at the door. You know what I mean? People don't walk off this man's show. <laughs> like, come on, man. So and so a lot of my peers who are having challenges getting into some of these predominantly white institutions, the affirmative action was great. My father went to, to Harvard. You know, he was one of very few blacks. Was he affirmative action? I don't, I don't I don't don't know if he was that was back in the late sixties. Well, then he know. wasn't. He okay. earned his way. So that being said, I still believe that affirmative action helped me get into UCLA and it gave me access to You would to not have gotten in there on your own because you were not smart enough? I don't know if I wasn't smart enough, but based on the curve and what I was competing with, with, with you know, other individuals who had different ec um, educational opportunities and teachers. I mean, I'm coming from, you know, the LA Unified School District. I mean, so at the time, I think LAUSD was still pretty good. But I went to all white schools um, from high school up to So you got college. a good education. Why couldn't you get into the school based on your own talent? Mm. 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 Maybe because I didn't have some of the opportunity. Because but you had the opportunity. No, well, first of all, you had the, the same SAT, opportunity those white kids were having. Not necessarily. I had different teachers. I had different so you resources. Went to a white integrated school. I'm talking about going white. into these other uh, into oh UCLA. Gosh. I still had to do be able to deal with some of the issues and going to predominantly white schools. Like but what? I still had to be able to compete. Like what? What do you like? What? Some of the issues going to a predominantly. I went to when I went to uh, I would graduate from University High School, and at the time they didn't have an African American student union. Uh, we an African American student union mm -hmm, at the school. Well, that's a good thing. They didn't have one. That's a good thing. <laughs> Why? Why do you need something like that? They, well, they have Asian student unions. They have Jewish student unions. They did, have all kind of. Did they have student white unions. student union? They need student union. They, they own the whole school. So, <laughs> but the kids <laughs> didn't own the school. The kids. Didn't but I'm that. saying there's nothing. I don't think there's nothing wrong it's with having a you segregated, uh, you know, population. Why? 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 Why do you think that's okay to have, like, bro? Y'all put race on everything. Y'all want to have this. Y'all want to have this type of union, a black union, an Asian union. Why are we still segregating races? Like, bro, why we can't just can't have a union as a freaking school? Every race come in. Every race celebrate. Like, bro, why? Just I, I'm confused. Why? Literally, why? You said to yourself that black people need to start taking responsibility. Well, it, t it seems like you need to start taking responsibility. Because everything you just said. Literally, you're not even backing it up with no facts, no proof, no nothing. You're saying, oh, UCLA and this and that and this and that. You're saying nothing but straight bull, bro. Literally. This is my whole, this is my whole thing. I don't believe in white privilege because I believe that as Americans or whatever, whatever country, whatever you stay, whatever you live, I don't care. I believe that everybody goes through the same struggles each and every day. Everybody goes through the same struggles. Seriously. And if you can't believe that, you believe that it's just white people out here living the rich life and living this and living that, like you're crazy. You're crazy. The fact that y'all let race divide people or the fact that y'all let race divide us as human, it's only one race, the human race. If y'all let us like divide, I mean, seriously, you need help. You need help if you're dividing people off their uh, color of their skin. But one thing I know for a fact is that I'm not going to blame everything on white people. Because I'm black in America, and I know that I have a chance. I know that I could be something great. I know that I could be something great, no matter what my skin color is. I could be purple, orange, red. I could get any job I want. Any job I want. I may have. I might have need a degree to my name. I may need some some type of stuff to my name, some type of certificate, something. But I know I can get any job I want, being black. I'm not gonna let no race define who I can who I can be in life at all. And y'all sit back and just say, white people with this and white people with that, bro. Take responsibility for your own actions. You know why black people get pulled over so much? Because y'all do some dumb stuff. Y'all do dumb stuff. Police say, put your hands on it. Put your hands where they can see you. Y'all want to reach, 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 reach. Y'all do dumb stuff. Dumb stuff. Just do what the police say and you can go on about your day. Half of the black people that got killed by white police officers will still be alive today if they just obeyed. Obeyed? I can't talk. If they just comply with the freaking rules. If they just did what the officers said, they would still be alive today. Simple as that, but oh man, we, we oh lord, we got like two minutes left in this video. I don't think I can make it, y'all. I don't think I can make it. Of students who just want to uh, study together, or work together, or to be able would to would you be in support of a white student union? Yeah, of course. It would be okay with you. Yeah, why oh, not? Yeah. But most blacks don't feel that way. 
I think all cultures should be able to, to segregate and to be able to work within their cultures and network within their own cultures. Absolutely. Does racism exist? I believe racism does exist. Absolutely. And where's the proof of that? You just see it all over in the country, the, the proof of it. What, of just the, what, what do I see? Disproportion in the economics with black people. But that has nothing to do with racism. It does. Racism is about power. It's about who is in control. And black people can't be racist because we're not in control. We're not in control. I seriously can't take it no more. I can't take it no more. I just can't. I literally cannot take it no more. You, what? Black people can't be racist because we're not in control. We're not in control. Once again, we are racist. I, if you want to be honest, we're the most racist freaking people. R racist people. What did Chris Rock say? Chris Rock made, uh, I, seen, I seen it on TikTok. It, it came up on my feed. Um, it was an old, uh, old comedy show. He said, y'all know who the most racist, uh, most racist people are black people. Why? Because we hate all, we hate black people. So it's like literally we're racist to our own race. We racist to white people, Asians, black people, Hispanics, Chinese. We're racist to all races, but yet we always point the finger at them. We never point the finger at us. We never want to take accountability for our own actions. We always want to blame that person, blame that race, blame this, blame that. Black people can't be racist because guess what? We're not in control. We're not in control, so we can't be racist. You know the only person that's in control of all of this? Guess what? It's God. So, seriously, get, get y'all minds right. Stop with this whole racist crap. Stop with this whole white pri privilege crap. You can be whatever you want to be in life. If you decide to wake up every single day, you have 24 hours. It's on you what you decide to do with on 24 hours. No white man, no white woman is going to tell you what to do with your 24 hours. Simple as that. You are in control of your day. You are in control of you. You are in control of your actions. You are in control of everything that you do on this earth. You make your own decisions. God can lead you to the right path, but guess who still make their own decisions? You. You are in control. So technically... Black people can be racist because you are in control. You're in control of what you can do throughout your entire life. Nobody can tell you what to do at all, unless you're in jail. They, they tell you when to eat. They tell you when to do all that. But when you're free, when you're in the land of the free, you can do whatever you want to do. Please start holding yourselves accountable. Stop pointing the finger. Stop putting the blame on white people. They didn't do nothing to y'all to make y'all feel like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. They go through the same struggles each and every day. If you decide, if you decide to wake up and say, you know what? I'm not going to go to work. I'm not, I'm doing this. I'm going to be poor. Then that's your decision. That's your decision. It's white people that's poor. It's black people that's poor. It's Hispanics that's poor. It's all type of races that's poor. Every race has some type of poor people, some type of poor in there. Okay. It's not just black people. Stop putting the pity. We, we don't know. No, I'm not, I'm not having no pity. I'm not having nothing for black people. Nothing. Because y'all can never hold yourselves accountable. Y'all always want to point the fingers. Hold yourself. Point the fingers at yourself. Well, the educational system, the, some of the social uh, organizations and things that run this country, we're not in control. Racism about power. But you would what be in control, in control of your own life if you had good parents. I promise you I did not watch this video. Me and Jesse, I think we got the same point of view. I, I promise you I didn't watch the video. This is my first time watching this. Parents, if they taught you how to be independent, if they taught you how to build, how to take care of. I've noticed that the reason I left where I lived over there in the Crenshaw district is that once the white people left, because once I moved there, when I first moved there, it was mostly whites. But once they left, as they did in Gary, Indiana and other places, the blacks turned it into a ghetto. A beautiful area went to hell in a hair basket, so I got out. But if blacks had more character and they were taking care of themselves and being responsible and buying land and teaching their but that children, has to be taught. then that right, has, so that, that has, has nothing to, be, to do with racism. But that has to, that, of course, that has to be taught. So it's not racist. It's not white people's fault that you're not teaching your children to do that. No, but but it's not it, exactly. It all starts within the household. What don't y'all What don't y'all understand about that? It all starts within the household. If, if you teach your kids to buy land and do this and how to be successful and start saving and start investing, oh my gosh, guess what? That's another black person that's going to grow up to be something great in life. But no, you know what y'all teach y'all kids? 
You know what y'all, y'all, look, this is what you black people do. This is what happens in a black community. Y'all sleep with whatever dude y'all see. Y'all, y'all got a great, y'all think this dude is good. He's, he's this, he got a little bit of money, blah, blah. Y'all sleep with this man. He, y'all have a baby by this man. You know what that man do? He get up and leave. Boom. Now a kid is raised in a household with a mother who barely know anything. We can see that clearly right here. Who teaches their kids about racism? Who teaches their kids about segregation? Who th teaches their kids about all types of stuff rather than teaching them how to be successful and how to grow into this and how to grow in this wicked world? That nobody like seriously. And then guess what? The kid grow up. They learn about this. They learn about white people. They learn about all these type of things. They start to pick up guns. They start to pick up the drugs. They start to pick up this. They start to pick up that. Then guess what? Now they growing up teaching their kids the same thing that the, you taught them. It's like, it's a repeated cycle. It's a repeated cycle. Seriously. If we, if we all as black people in the community start teaching our kids how to do this and how to do that and how to be successful with, literally, stop sleeping with, stop sleeping with every man you see. Sleep with somebody successful. Or wait, no, actually, just wait till you get married. Wait till you get married. Have a kid then. Wait till you get married. Have a kid. Have a happy family. Start teaching y'all kids how to grow. Start teaching y'all kids how to be responsible. And oh my gosh, we got another black person who's going to be something in life. Who ain't going to turn a nice place into the ghetto. Why do you think it's so many black people leaving their own community? Oh, let me rephrase that. It's so many black people with class that leaves their own community. Not, if the true? parents don't know, they if don't the parents, know. If so, but that's if, not if white people don't fall, know, it, But if they go into some of these institutions, these predominantly white institutions, they are targeted. They don't have the same opportunities because of their color. They, it's true. I mean, so I've then been, why go in there? Then why not go to all black school? If you some feel people that? do choose to do that. I'm sorry. Some people do choose. That's well, why why they, I, you see a lot of these black kids going to uh, these white universities? And then they, they force their way in by saying, I need affirmative action. Once they get in, now they cry racism. Why do you want to force your way in with the people you say are your enemies and you're still complaining once you get there? I don't think people are forcing their way. I don't, does they affirmative, are. affirmative action, action exist? is forced based on color. Does, but does affirmative action even exist? Are people getting in based on affirmative action? Yes. Today, Otherwise, I mean, they wouldn't be there. It, it, the way Trump has it down, he's just leveled the playing field. So it is going to have to be more about being able to be competitive. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, man. Um, first, first off, first off, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. Me personally, this was probably one of the. I, I say this all the time. It was one of the dumbest. I don't know what's the dumbest video I done watch. I done watch plenty of dumb videos, but bro, get this through y'all's thick skull that white privilege don't exist. The same things you go through every day to day, every single day in your every day to day life. The same things you go through. There's a white person out there going through the same exact thing. The same exact thing. Seriously. Without further ado, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG, man. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.